Witch Hunt is a song by Canadian rock band Rush. It was released on their 1981 album Moving Pictures, and unlike many other Rush songs it was a true studio production, with a variety of percussion instruments and overdubs, and a separate keyboard player. It is the first of four songs in what has been called the band's Fear series, the other three being The Weapon, from Signals, 1982, The Enemy Within, from Grace Under Pressure, 1984, and Freeze, from Vapor Trails, 2002, although this song is the third part of the series in order, and went on reverse chronological order by the album, except the Freeze is the exact fourth part like normal chronological order. Neil Peart described, Parts 1 and 2 do exist in my notebook. Part 1 was called The Enemy Within, How Fear Affects Your Life and Restricts What You Do. And Part 2 was called The Weapon, How Fear Is Used Against You. How Other People Keep You In Your Place, Or Keep You Out Of Their Place. Neil Peart confirmed the original Fear trilogy was already completely written at the time of the release of Witch Hunt in 1981. The song opens with the sounds of a mob, which Lifeson explained was recorded outside Le Studio on a cold December day with the band and others shouting, warmed by a bottle of scotch whiskey. They recorded a dozen tracks of this. The lyrics describe how a vigilante mob gathers under torchlight, distorting the features of the twisted and grotesque faces, the righteous rise, with burning eyes, of hatred and ill will, madmen fed on fear and lies, to beat and burn and kill. The lyrics do not explain what the mob intends to do, but in the second set of stanzas indicate that the mob feeds on xenophobia and religious zealotry, they say there are strangers who threaten us, our immigrants and infidels, they say there is strangeness too dangerous, in our theaters and bookstore shelves. Neil Peart explained later that the song was done as a studio production number, as opposed to most other songs, which were done as a three-piece band. It features a broad array of percussive instruments, gong bass drums, wind chimes, glockenspiel, tubular bells, conga, cowbell, vibra slap and various electronic effects. Cover designer Hugh Syme contributed synthesizer and in one verse the drums are double-tracked. Music critics described it as the most reworked and fretted over song of the album. The song was recorded on the same day as the death of John Lennon. Getty Lee commented, We were right in the middle of recording it when that all went down. I remember the day which Hunt was recorded. Sadly, it was the same night that John Lennon was shot in New York. We were right in the middle of recording it when that all went down. It's one of those songs that means as much today, if not more, considering what's gone on in the world with racial profiling and all these different issues. The sentiment of that song is as appropriate as ever. The foreboding song's lyrics are written by Neil Peart, and they criticize intolerance, the context of the moral majority of the late 1970s and early 1980s, when those who know what's best for us were invited to rise and save us from ourselves. The song seems incredibly relevant today, given how intolerant and angry we are today. The song was not played live until three years later, on the tour for Grace Under Pressure. At the end of the 1980s it was dropped from the regular live set list but returned for the Snakes and Arrows tour, which started in 2007, where it was a good fit according to Max Mobley, in mood and message. By the time of the Grace Under Pressure tour, the song had acquired an additional lengthy guitar solo at the end, as can be seen on the tour video. The 1989 version on a show of hands has a more elaborate solo, Rush practices Benjaminian translation and homage to its own originals, plausibly knowing that interest can lie as much in variation as infidelity. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for similar content. Rock on!